Can you add extra Parmesan? Good choice. That's one of my favorites as well. Pizza? Really, Lisa? A soda and a pizza. Are you sure? Hello, everyone. It's Jack here. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a real life story video. Today's real life story is about a tense lunch between a mother and her daughter. Before we watch the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is every once in a while. Next are I bet or I'll bet. To tend to do something, to throw a fit, throw a tantrum, and to hold someone accountable for something. The final word is to be wise. Okay, let's watch the video. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mom. I'm so happy to see you. Traffic was a nightmare, even the parking. You know, I'm used to only going to places that have valet. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry about that. I know the parking can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but I love this restaurant. And I think you'll like it, too. Hello, ladies. Welcome. And I hope you've found the menus on your phones. Can I get you started with something to drink? Water for me, please. No lemon. And I'll have a Coke, please. Just so you know, I did not teach her to drink sugary sodas like that. They are unhealthy, and I don't think anyone should drink them. Okay, so water and a Coke coming right up. Gosh, Mom, do you always have to do that to me? It's so embarrassing. I do enjoy soda once in a while. You shouldn't drink that junk. It's full of sugar. Doesn't help our waistlines either. As you get older, you need to stay trim like me. Okay, Mom, can we talk about something else, please? I highly recommend the pizza here. It's delicious. There is nothing healthy, not a vegetable in sight. Do you come here often? Sometimes. I like to bring my friends here. Speaking of friends, do you remember my friend Stacy from high school? Yeah. Well, guess what? What? She's getting married. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting for Stacy. Yeah, I know. You know, she was always so pretty, and she always would keep herself in shape. I bet her fiancé is handsome, too. Well, yes, they're both really attractive. And honestly, they're great friends and lovely people, and I think that's the most important thing. I tend to disagree. Looks are very important, and as a woman, we need to keep looking good to make our husbands happy. Let's just order, okay? Here you are. Are you ready to order? I will have the cheese pizza, please. And can you add extra Parmesan? Good choice. That's one of my favorites as well. Pizza? Really, Lisa? A soda and a pizza. Are you sure? Your jeans have been fitting a little tight these days. I think you should just order the salad. Mom, I was really looking forward to a pizza. I know, I've gained a little bit of weight over the holidays. But I don't think one slice of pizza is going to really make all that much of a difference. Besides, I'm happier than I've ever been, and I don't really care about the size of my jeans. Honey, you should care. Ma'am, sorry to interrupt. Would you like something to eat? I don't know. There isn't anything on this menu that's healthy. I think I'll pass. All right. I'll be back with your pizza. Listen, Mom, I was really looking forward to lunch with you today. But honestly, you're being really mean. Mean? You think I'm being mean? I'm your mother. I have everything in your best interest. And to be honest, pizza and soda are not in your best interest. I bet Stacy doesn't eat like that, and she's getting married. Men don't like girls who eat like that. It's atrocious. All right, ladies, here is your food. Enjoy your meal. You can take that pizza back. I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, okay. What happened? You were so excited about your pizza. This is none of your business. I can't do this anymore. Lisa, where are you going? Get back here. 
Can you believe her? She's a grown woman, but she's still throwing tantrums like a child. Ma'am, I know. It's none of my business. But I overheard the way that you were speaking to your daughter. And I want to share something. I know it must be hard to be a parent because you want what's best for your child. But when I was younger, my mother used to speak to me the same way. It was really hurtful. I put up with it for a long time, but after a while, I stopped seeing her or speaking to her altogether. And that was five years ago. I haven't seen her since. Wow, that's really sad. But that's not going to happen to me. I raised my daughter to understand that feedback is a gift. It's better to know what you're doing and, and what your mistakes are. It makes you better and holds you accountable for your mistakes. Sorry, but I don't really see how you were speaking to her as a gift and she didn't make a mistake. You should apologize to her. Enjoy your pizza. You know, Mom, I'm not a little girl anymore, and I can take care of myself. And if you can't control the way you speak to me, then I don't think it's wise for us to see each other anymore. I'll pay for the meal. Goodbye, Mom. Lisa, Lisa, wait. Why? Why should I wait? Are you going to suggest a gym for me to go to? No, honey. I, I just want to say I'm sorry. I know that I've been far too hard on you over the years. You don't deserve that. It's just that my mother raised me that way. And she used to criticize me all the time, and I hated her for it. And for some reason, I do the same thing to you. I am so sorry. Can you give me another chance? I will always love you, no matter what you do or how you look. It's okay, Mom. I know the tit you want, what's best for me, and that you mean well. But I'm not a little girl anymore, like I said. And as my mother, I want your support, not your feedback. I understand, honey. I love you. I love you too, Mom. And look, that pizza is big enough for both of us. Honey, it does look amazing. Okay, let's dig in. It's so embarrassing. I do enjoy soda once in a while. Every once in a while. It means sometimes, but not regularly or often. The examples. Well, they're both lonely, so why don't they hang out once in a while? I see her in the shop every once in a while. I bet her fiancé is handsome, too. I bet. I'll bet. It means to guess something is true or something is happening. The examples. I bet she hasn't told her parents about this. I bet you're tired after such a long journey. I think that's the most important thing. I tend to disagree. Looks are very important. To tend to do something. It means to usually do something or have a particular characteristic. The examples. Dave tends to arrive late, so don't worry yet. Children tend to be like their parents. Can you believe her? She's a grown woman, but she's still throwing tantrums like a child. To throw a fit or tantrum. It means to react in a very angry, childish, or unreasonable way. The examples. The child threw a tantrum when his mother took away his toy. She was so embarrassed when her boyfriend threw a tantrum in front of her friends. It makes you better and holds you accountable for your mistakes. To hold somebody accountable for something. It means to make someone responsible for what they do. The examples. I must hold you accountable for the missing money. The CEO was held accountable for the company's financial crisis. I don't think it's wise 
for us to see each other anymore. To be wise, it means having or showing good judgment based on life experience. The examples. I think you made a wise decision. My grandmother is the wisest person I know. Well, that's it. I hope you can start using these words. Hit the thumbs up if you liked our video. Make sure you subscribe to continue to improve your vocab. Thanks for watching. See you later.